Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Celeste. Previously, we got all of the strawberries available to us, and somehow I was still missing five. So now, it's time for things to get difficult. Let's head back into our profile. And I guess, let's have a look at the B-side of the Forsaken City. Now, this may look familiar to us, but also, it is very different, and oh my goodness, it's super precise. These are basically harder versions of the levels we've already gone through, which is gonna mean pain and misery for me, basically. I'm gonna try my best to get through each of these. I cannot guarantee that I will. I don't think there are any collectibles to worry about. I just need to get... I need to get through. Oh my gosh. Also, I think I need my dash at that bit there. No, I just need to get through. Okay, cool. Music has changed for this as well, which is interesting. Uh, no, no, ah. Uh. Okay, try this again. Okay. Oh boy, this is very difficult. And this is just the first level. Re redone. Come on. Get up there. Oh boy. Oh, I need to actually go back this way. Get up there. No! I need to keep my grip long enough to get up there. Because that gives me back my grip. But then I need to make it back across there as well. Oh boy. What have I done to myself? I've never done the B-sides before, so I... I am very concerned. This is blind at this point, so I'm... gonna die. Oh boy, no. I have done the core, and I have done the level after that, except for the last bit of that. Which is very unfortunate, because I got stuck on the very last thing in the game. Kind of? I think it is the last thing, at least. But also the B-sides. Please get that, thank you. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I need to grab onto the, the back of that platform wall over there. But I think I do, which is concerning. Because it means that I have to uh, try and avoid landing on the spikes, but also move back to the left to actually reach that high. Nope. I think the hardest thing about this right now is not spend, like spending as little time clinging onto things as possible because I need every bit of my stamina. It's so precise. It is super precise. No, I can just go to the end. Cool. Good. Whoa! I don't know what I'm doing there. Also, we reached a checkpoint, which is nice. But also, I'm still... still struggling with this. Oh boy. I need the platform in the middle. What is happening? Oh, what is this B-side? What is this B-side? And how am I making some of this work first try? I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh my goodness. Hang on, how about I grab onto that and jump? There we go. Sometimes it's just physics, and you have to just make sure you know the physics of the game properly so you can actually make each of these jumps actually work. Because uh, wall, wall jumping is actually a lot better than it seems to be, than you'd think, so. Um, 
Okay, that's nothing. I thought because it was panning over that there was maybe secrets, but then also there's no secrets, so... I don't know what I was trying to do. This is disappointing. This is even more disappointing. How about this? Just go straight up. That works a lot better than what I was trying to do. I need that for my stamina, and also possibly for moving on in general, so I'm gonna grab that and then... run for my life. Oh, I need that there! What? This is insane. This is what insanity looks like. Oh boy. Oh boy. No! I got through this... Yeah, like that. What? I don't know. Then... Nope, not too far down. Oh my goodness. I don't know if it's gonna be better or worse with the double jump. I feel like it's just gonna be more complicated with the double jump. <gasps> Wait! I jumped on the block and it didn't fall down! What? Is there still things in this game that I don't understand? Well, that would m make sense. Also, I was so close in that time. This is gonna make climbing the mountain so much more difficult. Especially if I jump straight into that spike there. And just barely touch it. I think what happens if, if you don't... Yeah. So if you don't actually hold grab on that block, it doesn't fall. Because the you can do wall jumps without the grip. I still think you use a little bit of grip if you touch a block, but also... Maybe not? I don't know. Yeah, just, just wall jumping doesn't use grip. So if you don't use your grip, that's actually amazing. But also, I need my grip, so... This is gonna get so much more complicated. Not using my grip, like not holding down the ZR button, or ZL button I think as well, is gonna make this so much more complicated for my brain, because I'm so used to always holding down... I'm so used to always holding down the, the grab button. But I can't, because I need to wall jump and keep my grip. Okay. Okay, another checkpoint. That's good. Checkpoints are good. Because it means I think possibly I can maybe leave the level and come back if I want to. I don't know. Maybe. That'd be very useful if you can actually come back to the level where you left off. I don't know if that's true though. And I don't know if I want to try it out. Ah! Pain. Hey. Nope. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh. My brain is melting. And this is not a great time for my brain to melt. Because now I'm just making... ...delayed reactions. If that statement doesn't tell you that I'm having delayed reactions, I don't know what will. Ugh. Nope, I try to jump off of that. This is a very precise timing on that second platform, which is what's really getting me right now. I can't even... Ah, there's spikes on the wall in that thing as well, so I can't even just wall jump after a certain point. This is pain. This is where I'm gonna get my death's number out, up. It's a good thing the game keeps track of deaths for me. And for anyone who might think of keeping track of the deaths. Nope. 
I did get quite a few extra deaths on the, um, the summit because I had to, I was trying to get up to the top again, even though I didn't have all the strawberries apparently. And I don't know if it changes if you do get all of the strawberries because apparently I've never got them all. If that five extra missing ones is to be believed. Because I know I got all of the ones in the main, the main part of the game. But I don't know if I've got all of them in everywhere else. How? Oh my goodness, do I need to wall jump off of that thing again? This is super difficult. And it's going to take me a long time. I don't even know how I'm going to cut this up. Or just everything in general. I'm probably just going to break up each episode wherever fits because I don't know how else I could possibly do this. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm only 11 minutes into this level and I'm already going absolutely insane. I feel like it's been a lot longer than 10 minutes, but apparently it's not. You can fit a lot of deaths into a small amount of time. I feel like that was too early. Okay, up, 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 up. Thank you. Oh. Oh, almost. Okay, we're going, we're, we're moving. How big is this room? Okay, not as big as I was worried about. Because if I reach an absolutely huge room and I can only die once in it, and it's B-side, I'm gonna actually die. In real life. Oh, this is not. This is not fun. This is not fun. This is not fun. Oh boy. I mean, this is a. This is fun, but also, I don't want to die. Oh. Welcome to my 24-hour video. I really hope it's not 24 hours, but it could be. By the time I'm done with this. Oh my goodness. This is absolute madness. And I'm only doing this once in my life. The rest of the game I'll do as many times as I want. But the B-sides and anything after the end of the summit is optional, in my opinion. Especially if you're a first time player for this game. Okay, that was not the way it's intended to do that, but it works, so... I should have seen that coming, but I didn't, and it slammed me right into the spikes. Oh my goodness. Nope, I need to use that, and it's pain. And it is pain. Okay. Okay? Okay. Here we go. Maybe. Oh, there's an actual platform there. But also, I don't know if I should use that. I think I probably should and then go back onto the platform if I can. Like that. And then... Wah! And then pain. Maybe I should do that. Oh, but not like that. Go! Go! Ah, uh, almost. Also, how big is this room? I'm concerned again. 
Okay. 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 Oh, this is a big room. This is a big room. But I made it. Okay. <gasps> oh, wow. It's the end. Memories. Memorial is dedicated to those who perished on the climb because it is a big one. Especially to those who perished on the B-side climb. Anyway, this area ends off the way it starts, basically. With a... Block. Time block. Thing. And also, we get a crystal heart. Which looks a little bit different to the ones we're used to. Those, that's what they're called, by the way. They're called crystal hearts. But anyway, we've got a red crystal heart now. Sever the skyline. That feels good to get. Let's get out of here. B-side complete. I'm getting goosebumps from that, that theme in like 8-bit. It sounds really cool. Oh, but there we go. And we died 81 times, so that's pretty good considering. But also that's just chapter 1. We collected a lot more B-sides than that. <laughs> we collected a lot more B-sides than that. I'm gonna die so many times. Also, we've still got time, so I get to go to the, straight to the next one. Oh boy. Old city, old site, that one. Also, I like what I did in the playthrough of this. The words are all, like, scrambling around, which is pretty cool. Anyway, let's die. I was- I was- Game? I was joking. Game? Game, I was joking. I, I take it back, please. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Game, I was joking. I take it back. Oh my gosh. I was joking. And then this screen. Immediately. What? Oh, does it? Can you jump? <gasps> you can jump out of that! You can jump at the end of those things! It's because you're coming out of a wall, you can kind of wall jump at the end of it, I guess. I don't know. But it means we can get so much further with those jumps. That's amazing. We're this far into the game and I'm still being amazed. Uh, also, I would consider these B-sides to be... ...post-summit challenges, so... I apologize to anyone who had the experience of doing the B-sides before the summit. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a few people who did. I'm pretty sure I actually watched someone play the B-side, like, immediately after getting one. I think it was the Celestial Resort that they were on. That's really cool that you can jump out of those. Oh, you're here. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. Too much speed trying to... Be smart, but nope. I can't do that. No, get up there! Get up there! Get up there! Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, that's rough. That works. Okay. No! Why? Directly onto Madeline, I guess. Okay, okay. I believe in myself. I believe. I believe. I believe. Oh my goodness, I ruined my life just then. It's a, she's a little, her hitbox is a little bit bigger than mine. And that makes it very difficult to do this correctly.
I should have waited. I waited on the other ones to give myself time. And then I ruined everything. As I normally do. Okay. So I wait, I wait, I wait, I wait, I wait, I wait, and then I wait for her to move, and then I can go down. That's how you be smart. Something I'm not extremely good at, but I will pretend, I guess, to be smart. Please. Oh my gosh. Get that to me. <laughs> I think I'm in trouble. I think I'm in a lot of trouble, actually. Because I need my... original... I need my original dash there. I think... I think I do. But also, I don't know how I could possibly... get that to work. Except maybe if I do that, grab it like that, and then go that way, that'll work out a lot better for me. It's all a mind game now. It's all a mind game. The B-sides are a mind game. That is... Whoa, difficult to figure out. Oh boy. Oh no! Ah... No, get up there, get up there, get up there, get up there! Oh my gosh! Oh, so this seems like a better route. And then I time it badly anyway. I am root. Okay, that crushes me if I'm not careful. So maybe it'll be... Hmm... <laughs> Oh my goodness, I am messing myself up now. Hang on, I'm gonna go with the previous path that I took. That doesn't work. Um... Remember, they, they, the clones are at the speed that you make them, so... No! Why? Why? Why, MCA, why? Please land in the hole. How do I even get... Oh, hang on. Not like that, but close enough. Just need to get through this again. Ho oh, ho ho, clutching that close. No, I'm still too close to the edge there. I need to not do that. This is very cool though, having the clones doing their own thing like this and chasing after you at full speed. Okay, just there. Cool. Good. I really need to not do that. And not do that either. Good thing that spring gives me back my boost. Because I would be in trouble otherwise. Speaking of being in trouble, here's a death room. Room of death. Oh, wow. You have to actually hold on to the, the moving block to actually get through that. Okay. This room seems a lot nicer than it should be. Okay. Don't hold back immediately because otherwise you'll die and... I think it actually wants me to dash down. That's annoying. Oh, I need to also jump. I need to also jump because that will make it work better. But not there. I want to... Ah, diagonally dashing. My least. I don't know. Diagonal. 
is difficult, except for when you do it accidentally. Okay. I'm trying to go diagonally and it's still not working. I'm a little bit concerned now. Come on! I'm... I am diagonal. I am diagonal. I am the diagonal. If I'm sliding, that means I'm doing diagonal. Okay. That's really complicated when there's spikes below me. <laughs> this is where I... Um... Switch? Um, switch? I think that was my splitter doing its own thing. Anyway, back to my death and demise. Let's figure out what's actually going on here. That was really weird. Also, that's not gonna work. I should probably find out if I can actually leave the level and come back. If there's a checkpoint. Okay, good. 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 Remember that bit at the very beginning of the level where I said I was gonna die? And then I was like, hey, it's a joke, and now I'm... Now I'm here. And everything feels very different somehow. Should have dashed, jumped. I should have jumped that one. I have to choose between dashing and jumping at th after each of these blocks. Like that. And then through there. Oh, there's a thing there to show me how big this room is. Okay, it's not that big, but also I need to. Go up there, grab that, and then go around and grab that one up there, and then go through again and get that one up there, and then go back through there. If that's the best route. Maybe. Probably not. Also, I need to not dash after I'm out of a block, so that's gonna be fun. Well, that's the rudest thing I can think of, other than my everything stopping in front of me. Why is it doing that? I mean, it's not actually stopping, it's just stopping for a few seconds and then coming back, so... Okay, I died and I... Oh my goodness. Why are you dying? I must figure out why you're dying. It might be insufficient power to the splitter, which would be annoying. But I've not had this problem since I got the splitter, so I don't know... don't know why. Anyway... Let's try this again. And this time with feeling and not dashing into the spikes that appear whenever we get out of the thing. Oh. Okay, just take my time. Just take my time. Just take it from me, please. Oh, no, why? Grip, why? That's the other thing I need to worry about, is my grip. Which I didn't have any problem with the rest of the section, but also... Then I had... Ah, 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 we ugh. This music's good, though. Ah, oh, I'm upset. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. Ha! Oh. I can make sound clips and play them over the video, and it would sound about the same as the commentary right now. Okay. Holding on to grip by not using the grip. 
This is what I'm worried about. Okay, so I go across, I go across. I get that switch and get the thing there so I can get my power back. And I think I go diagonally over to the right. And then I go up. Do I go right? I must go right. Although I could go right, directly right, and then go up and then left, right? Left, right, ah. And then up, and then sideways, horizontal. I don't even know how to explain that properly, but I'm gonna figure it out, so. Remember to hold in the opposite direction so you can just hold on to the block of magicalness immediately. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. That's very disappointing. I just like how that one spike isn't actually in line with the rest. Ho! Oh, let's do that. I feel like I'm gonna regret that though. Especially if I just die. Especially if I just die. Do you ever just regret dying in the video game? Okay, hang on. I feel like I may have made a mistake here, but I'm okay now. So let's just go up here and sh I press the jump button. I don't know what else you want from me. I think we're getting close to the end of this B-side though, which is nice. Because I think it kind of mimics the original part like the... Every, oh, did I really just do that? I was trying to go diagonal and it didn't pick that up. Because this is a Switch controller. And not a Nintendo 64 controller, which would probably play better. Possibly. <laughs> I don't know. It has the eight directional like indents in it, so you can actually lock onto those points easier. The other thing I could do is actually just use the D-pad, but I feel like that's going to be worse in this situation. Okay. Okay, I'm pressing the jump button too early on that, which is the big problem. That seems to be a problem with a lot of tricks in video games, where if you press the button too early, you're doing it wrong. Because everyone wants to go too fast for some reason. On the tricks. But tricks are for kids, so... Okay. We're at the end. That was actually a really good spacing, technically. Also, I do feel like this is familiar to me slightly, this specific bit. But I don't think I've done this before, so I don't know. What's up with that? Okay, calm down. I'm struggling. I'm gonna hold on for a second. There we go. Another red crystal heart. Black Moonrise. B side complete. So there we go. That is the first two B sides done. And now we have a lot of more deaths, but also two more red crystal hearts. Also, it does have the checkpoints thing, so... I'm assuming that you can just exit the level whenever you want and actually go back in out at the checkpoints, so... But anyway, with that, that is probably it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.